Hi, and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Queen Tasha Danae. If you are new, welcome to my channel. We are today making seafood gumbo, okay? So, I'm not gonna take the gift to gab because I'm gonna be doing that during the process of this gumbo. So, let's get right into it. Okay, let's get right into making this gumbo. Don't let all of these ingredients intimidate you. These are all just kind of dump and go, but I'm gonna go through the process of what I am using. I will be using onion. And I did already pre-prep because I believe in working smarter, not harder. So I've already chopped up my vegetables and here's the bell pepper. I also diced up some celery. And I also have some seasonings, which is my Mrs. Dash, because it's an all-purpose seasoning, and pepper. I also have bay leaves. So there the bay leaves are. Then we got that old good yum yum, with the, which is that W sauce. That, and then I'm going to also be putting that good old good old seasoning up in there you know what i'm saying you know what that is that's gonna give it that taste as well that we're looking for 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 the gumbo i have a half a stick of butter i have my flour to make my roux because i'm going to be making a roux and a stock so i did um i did peel my shrimp so i am using large or jumbo shrimp I have taken the tails off because I will be using this inside of my um, sauce. And we are going to be using some of this, baby. Some of that, I'll, what is it? The Alduli chicken sausage. Chicken, yes. You got to use that chicken because it's going to give you all the flavor you need and all that that you want, okay? And then I got the crab legs i have cleaned everything and it is ready to go them is the um ingredients that i will be using so we are going to just jump oh and i cannot forget my chicken stock you want to get you some chicken stock to also bind your ingredients so let's get into this video okay i have my butter melted i am now going to add my shells from my shrimp um, and, and that's what's going to give it also that authentic um, gumbo seafood taste um, as well. So that's why I save my, because this is going to go into my stock. So I'm just going to put these in here. So that way that flavor can come out. Okay. That is not meant to fry because what we're going to do now is add two of the chicken stock and we're going to add two of these in here and bring this to a, a boil and then a simmer. Gonna turn that up. Okay. Then I need a, a wooden spoon and just stir that until that comes to a boil. To a boil and then let it simmer. So this is gonna cook for about 15 minutes in all, and I'm gonna let that start. Okay, I have a pot heating here, preheating for my sausage, my Alduli chicken sausages. So I am going to start by getting a fry on these and bringing out some of the flavors um, that's in the sausage. Cause this is the same pot that I'm going to complete my gumbo in um, when it comes to the roux and adding everything else. I'm gonna let 
let them just fry and move them around. The, the longest thing, well, not the longest, but the most time that you're putting into making gumbo is the time. And that's just your, you know, um, cooking process is the cooking. Everything else is kind of easy if you just prep some things. Um, but as we know, we cook with love. So when you take your time, everything's fine. I'm gonna let these fry up here, and that's gonna probably take about maybe 10 minutes or so. I already have the um, stock going, so it's starting to smell absolutely wonderful. You can smell all the seasonings coming out of the sausages. Okay, we're going to now make the roux for the gumbo. I've already pre-fried my sausages. There is the chicken andouille sausages, just to give you a look at what that should look like. And I'm going to use all of them golden brown crusted um, caramelization from the sausages um, in my roux. So I'm going to turn this up to about medium heat in a cup of vegetable oil. And I'm going to let that heat up as well. Now this is the process of the gumbo where you cannot leave. You cannot leave this side. You need to be right there by it at all times because you don't want your flour to burn. And what you're looking for is a brown uh, milk chocolatey um, color on your roux. Be 20 minutes um, to get the color that you are looking for. A small whisk. All my lumps and stuff is out. You add a little bit at a time. You don't have to add the whole thing all at once. But you're just going to keep whisking to just make sure that your flour is lump free. All your seasonings from the bottom get all scraped up. You just gonna whisk, whisk, whisk. You cannot leave this unattended. You have to be right here with this process. Cause if you're if you're not, your flour will settle at the bottom and burn. You don't want that. You want equal parts, as I said earlier. If you're gonna use one cup of flour, use one cup of oil. Okay, now that we have a darker color on our roux. I was telling you to get that milk chocolate kind of um, color. And as you can see, my flour is thickening. That's why you wanna keep stirring. And you can do that, as long as you don't burn it, you can get it as dark as you want under low heat. Um, and you just gotta continue to just stir. And since I have the color that I am looking for for my gumbo, I'm going to start by adding the onions first. And I'm just going to stir them in. I'm going to stir. And then I'm going to let that cook down for about five minutes. Oh, that smells so good. We're adding your other ingredients. I'm gonna add my bell peppers and my celery. And like I say, you always can start with a little bit because you always can add. And add. Okay, I have my strainer on the um, pot. Um, and that is because I am going to now take my stock that I made here and drain it over in here. Stir all this around.
Now if I give all this a good stir, mix that up really well. I'm then gonna now add my sausage. I'm gonna add my sausage in. to now add my seasonings. And with my W sauce. So here's the Witches' sauce. Got that. On low or on medium. for about 15 minutes to soften them up. And I forgot to add, forgot to add my bay leaves. Here's my bay leaves. Also adding some minced garlic. Oh, and I did forget, I made actually some chicken to put into my gumbo and so I'm going to also add that as well I'm going to just add that in with the sauce here so that way that can soften up and just kind of get tendered pot will get pretty full it will get pretty pretty full the chicken and we're going to let this cook down and we'll be back Okay, everything has been boiling and is now combined. You see the chicken and the sausage. The chicken and the sausages. So we have all of them. Now we're going to add our meat. So we're going to first take out our bay leaves. That is what you're looking for when it comes to boiling it all. But now we're going to add our jumbo shrimp. And you want these to cook for not too long, just long enough for them to turn a um, pinkish color. That shows that they're done. So we're gonna put that in first. that and we're going to let that boil here for a minute then I'll come back and let you know what your shrimp should look like once it is cooked. This is what you are looking for your shrimp to look like with the pink in there. That is a well-cooked shrimp. We are going to add the other meat to meat. Okay. So that's coming to a boil. And now we're going to add our crab legs. I'm trying to fold them so that way I can get them all in there. It was about a pound and a half of um, crab legs that I used uh, for this gumbo. And I'm going to give that a stir. Okay, so we're going to let this cook down a little bit because it's not going to take them long. Also cleaned and peeled some blue crab. So I will be putting blue crab in there as well. And we're going to get this mixed in there as well. We're gonna let that cook and then we'll be back. Okay, here is the gumbo. 
I'm going to plate it up and dig right in. Thank you guys for watching. Look at that blue crab. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, we'd love to see another one. Go down below, like, comment, and subscribe.